Good afternoon, YouTube. I apologize already if this gets choppy. Um, yeah, I was just amazed. I was playing around with this. It's got it a little bit out of whack because the jack won't lift it up in a perfect parallel. Um, but I'm going to show you in a minute. This is actually amazing. That is Shiv. It, it's the hemp bass um, with the stringy stuff, the stringy fiber, with the shiv, the woody hardcore, ground purposely, um, but it's not even compressed. That, that's, the, that's the insane part about this, is this would be considered compressed, maybe 200 PSI. This is not even compressed in the least. Um, it, it just failed when I was making it. In the other side, it's probably even worse. There's a, actually, there's a hole right here, all the way through it. Um, I didn't know if I could find that on the video. And this is just a test block that I'd made um, another composite uh, earlier on. I beat on the tube. It's in the video somewhere. I used a piece of pinion. It's the hardest pine I could think of to actually do the lift. The truck's up off the ground. I don't know. I pulled the tumbleweeds out of the way, but you probably can't see it and if i lift any more the truck is moving and it's gonna it, it'll break it one way or well maybe not break it but um, i don't want to risk that until i show you the inside of this watch this is not solid this is what this is what'll hurt your mind right here that's less than one inch um that's nowhere near solid had that been solid you couldn't have tore it up had you tried to lift up an abrams tank um, that didn't compress in the least. There's a little string here that I, I lifted it sideways and it wouldn't even move the string. I was using the string as a gauge. Um, that's a piece of the bass right there. That's a bass fiber. Yeah, well that broke now. But, uh, I've been using it for everything else. Sorry, it was a bad example. But, um, here's a better, I'm going to try to move really slow with the camera. Here's a better example of what I did. The top and the bottom only got maybe 200 psi of thumb pressure finger pressure when i was putting this in the mold um the center completely wigged out it was just a little bit too warm in the house at the time and this is just normal um out no not even outdoor this is just normal glue and i'm not going to give anybody credit for nothing unless you want to send me a 55 gallon drum of your stuff um but uh normal outdoor glue nothing extremely special and if you've worked with glue before um, you know that this is not even, uh, I can't see it. I'm trying to get you a really clean shot. This is not excessively glued in any way. Um, so the, I just wanted to get this one out on YouTube. I want to show you a good example, but I can't. It's just too bright is what it is. This is Southern Colorado. Um, I'm ducking behind my ton truck right here. This is my water hauler. Um, so that's what it was picking up is a Chevy ton truck, the, the whole back end by the hitch. It, it, it's insanely impressive. I, I don't care on, I don't care who you are and I don't care what material you, you match this against. It's, it's stronger than any adhesive that I've, I've done any research on. Um, and that's, it's always its weakest point is it's adhesive. The fiber you can't destroy. Uh, I've tried to do degrade the fiber in chemicals that would just literally dissolve things uh, they're evil you can't hurt this it would probably do 70 years under the sea um pretty incredible pretty incredible substance and this is the the material left over from the hemp harvest of you know just industrial hemp um purposely chopped up it's the the fiber is the bass the hardcore is the shiv the hard woody pieces is the shiv it's like hardwood but the, about the weight of balsa wood that's another thing this probably doesn't weigh six ounces and <laughs> that was lifting this truck um that's that's the other incredible part about this uh, you could make this with a pla glue adhesive that would fix this you, you would have something that was just so incredibly strong you wouldn't even need to test it um or there would be nothing you could test it with like i said abrams tank something like that uh, well long-winded y'all have fun think about this one because that'll allow you to pass your your water your electrical right through the right through the columns um and the only reason i did this is i just wanted to make it weak enough to see if i could make it fail and not even with a 
It's five inches across, so there's probably a two and a half inch hole, diameter hole. And this was just a uh, oatmeal carton with a, a plastic bottle that I wrapped in saran wrap to form it. Um, nothing special. What I wanted to do is make a skin of bass fiber and then pack that a tube, a braided tube of bass fiber inside and out, and then pack those tubes. I don't think you could tear it up. You could literally fill the ends and then use it like a, a drawing straw, or I mean, a, uh, to push me pull you. I mean, you could use it like to, for instance, well, architectural engineering. Um, well, again, big, long, and winded one, but y'all have fun, and I hope you really enjoy this one, because I did. All right, bye-bye.